6 minutes 27 seconds. That's all it takes to apply the Carlac UV Eco Clear. The best practice for applying this clear is using a 1mm to 1.2mm spray gun. Apply a half coat first. Don't go on too heavy, that's really important. Half a coat is perfect. Give it a 40 to 60 second flash off and then you can come back with your second coat which is a full wet coat. Again, with this product, it's really important not to overload it. The second flash off is slightly longer. The recommended time is three to four minutes. This is so that the solvents can fully evaporate and you will get a much better cure. So I'm going to cure this now using the Tesla 300. It's their mid-sized lamp. It's a both a static and mobile unit, depending on how you want. It simply slots in with this quick release mechanism and you can then have a handhold unit. It's got the power button on the top. You can set the timer on it for how long you want it to run, up to nine minutes. So quick little switch around there with my hands just so that I can start the timer. And you can see now we're counting up. And by taking it off the unit, you can get into the areas around the side, down the back. And this is because to fully cure a panel, you need to be able to get the UV rays to it. You can have it back on the stand if it's a nice flat panel and allow it to have the full two minutes to fully cure this product, whether it be using it as a mobile unit in your hand or on the static unit. Flatter panels will work better as a static unit. I'm just going to give it another little boost here. So you can see I'm quite close to the panel here. I'm probably about sort of 10 centimeters. The closer you get to the panel, the more powerful the lamp uh, UV rays are. So the faster it will cure as well. That's it. 6 minute 27 from the start of application, from the first flash off to the final flash off and cure. And it's done. It's, it's fully gone off. There's no chance of sink back or shrinkage because once this product is fully cured, that is it. Just did a little scratch test there with a putty spreader. And you can see it didn't, it left the mark and that's just the plastic on there, but it hasn't actually damaged the clear coat. As you just saw in the last clip, I purposely left this panel. It's not the cleanest finish because I wanted to see, it's always been a question that comes up is how well can a UV cleared panel polish? Because it is such a hard product and it cures so well. But look, have a look at this. So I use some Bufflex 2000. Went in then with some 3000. And I polished it up with my wool mop head. A little bit of polish. It got all the nibs out and it's buffed it up really, really nicely, which is exciting for me to see because, like I said earlier, UV clears are notoriously difficult to polish, but this one isn't. And it, you know, for what were we, about six and a half minutes with uh, flash off times and curing times for this product to be done and I'm able to polish it, that's phenomenal. Fast forward seven days of leaving it out in the sun to see how the panel reacted to it. Would there be any gloss drop? And I was really happy to see that there wasn't when I wheeled it back into the spray booth. It was exactly as I'd left it when I spoke about it after my polishing. Maybe it's time I introduced this product into my working process.